If you'd like to send your newsletters through KV Core, you have two options. One is you can send directly from your downloads page by using the HTML only. And the other is you can load your newsletter into MailChimp and make some changes first if you like to customize it before sending it. So let me show you both options. We'll start by logging into KV Core and then going to Marketing, All Marketing, and down to Scheduled Mass Emails. Click on Get Started and then Schedule Email. And now fill in this top area You'll select the content filter, the contact filter that you'll be sending to, and then enter the subject line. And you can grab that from your home page here at Fast Newsletters. Let's say that you're sending this newsletter number one, and you'll select that subject line and copy it. Come over to KV Core and you can paste that here. And next you want to put the date and the time that you'd like this to go out. So you'll schedule the date and then the time. That's convenient. You don't have to think about it again once you're finished working on it. Now you're ready to put the content in. Now if you don't plan to make any changes to the content of your newsletter, you can come down here to where it says Want the HTML Only and click on this Direct to HTML form. That's going to open up a form that you fill out and it will populate your newsletter for you on the spot. You don't have to go through MailChimp. Fill in the information. You only have to fill it in the first time. It'll retain it for you next time. So the next time you can just scroll to the bottom. You do have to fill in your images, however. We don't store those. So each time you come back to the form, just scroll down to Images. Click on Choose File. Choose your image. Choose your logo. Hopefully you have them all just that quick and then come down and select your newsletter. I already selected the subject line for the March number one, so I'll click on that and submit. And then on this page, click anywhere, triple click on that code in that box until it's highlighted in blue and then copy. Now you can come over to KV Core. Because you're pasting code and not the visual of the newsletter, you're not gonna use this compose window. Instead, you're going to find these two little brackets that say source code. Click on that, and then paste your content into that window. Click on Save, and now your newsletter is ready for you to schedule. And it'll go out on the date and time that you set up up here in the corner. Now, if you wanted to make changes to this newsletter, it would not be that easy. You can make text changes, and you can delete things. However, you wouldn't be able to add new blocks of content or change the images and the colors of the backgrounds and so forth. So if you want to make changes to your newsletter first, let's clear this. Instead of going through this form and capturing that code, you would load the newsletter into MailChimp just as if you were going to be sending it through MailChimp. And I've already loaded one and it's here in the campaign screen already. The only two things you need to pay attention to on this page are the two and the content. You want to make sure that you add the right list even though you might only have one person in this list now because you're not using the list, you need to load it because it puts your settings into the back end for your newsletter. Coming down to the content area now, click on Edit Design. And now you'll be able to make all the changes that you want to your newsletter. Change the pictures, change the content, add new blocks of content. There are, however, two things that you need to do on this newsletter. If the newsletter that you open contains yellow instructions at the top, you'll need to remove those just by sliding over to the right on that uh, dark bar and clicking the trash can icon and delete. Also now left at the top is a preheader and that preheader contains code. We use that code to pull in the first name of the contacts on your MailChimp list, but since you're not sending this through MailChimp, you don't want this up here. Otherwise it'll just be blank code. So we're going to highlight that and delete it. You could also just delete that whole box if you didn't want the quote at all. And now let's say that you've finished making all the changes that you want to your newsletter and it's ready for you to send. The next thing you're going to do is come up here to the preview, enter preview mode, and that's going to pull in all your personal information into your merge tags. Now to copy this, just put your cursor at the top left and hold your mouse button down and slide down to the bottom right all the way down and then scooch up a little so that bottom area is not highlighted. Put your cursor anywhere on the blue and click copy. Now you can hop over to KV Core again and we're going to use this visual composing area now rather than using the source code because now we're not putting code in, we're putting the visual in. 
However, KV Core has, has disabled the right click paste function. So you need to use Control V uh, if you're on a PC or Command V if you're on a Mac to paste the content that you just copied. And here you can see that I've done that. Now, notice that in a two column template, the preview here in KV Core will look wrong. It won't be side by side. And so you just need to know that that will render correctly when it's sent as an email. And to prove it to you, I sent it to myself here, and you can see that it has rendered correctly. You should, of course, test this yourself by sending uh, the email to yourself first, just to make sure. This is now ready for you to press the schedule button. And again, that'll go out on the date and time that you've set up here. So now you have two ways to put your content into KB Core. One is the quick HTML, and the other is if you want to make changes in MailChimp first and you copy it from there.